Thanks, Rebecca. I'm sure fans across the nation are crushed by yet another defeat by the green and gold, especially with how they've been doing this past season. But enough dwelling on the past, it's time to look to the future. Anime is a subgenre of animated cartoon that originated in Japan. This form of animation has peaked in popularity over the last 10 years, especially amongst adolescents. Why is it so popular? Is it suitable for young audiences? And how did it make its way into the US are all questions that are hopefully going to be answered as a reporter and interviewer Nathaniel Ailes interviews Ethan Burr on the subject. Take it away, Nathan. So Ethan, to those who barely know what it is, can you explain in general what uh, anime is and why it's so appealing? So imagine it's like any show in America, except it's animated and everyone has big eyes. There's mm -hmm. lots of blood and some anime <laughs> <laughs> uh, Could you give us some reasons why anime appeals to you? I don't know, it's better than real TV in my opinion because you don't have to worry about special effects because it's all animated anyways. Uh, what is your favorite uh, episode or uh, show in anime? Attack on Titan. It's a bunch of naked people looking things without any genitals running around eating other people. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it's a good time. What do you like about uh, anime, I guess, in, in Japanese culture in general? Japanese culture, and so they're foreign anime most of the time too. People are more accepting. Like, there's not as much of an issue with transgenders and members of the LGBT community in anime and Japanese culture, which is very nice. What would you say the main difference between American and uh, Japanese animation is? Other than acceptance, I would have to say it's probably the style. Because with anime, it tends to be more exaggerated expressions and lines, whereas in American culture it's more towards, like, realistic shapes. Alright, the next question is, do you prefer the extremely uh, exaggerated and round design of uh, American animation that appeals to younger audiences, or the uh, rough, realistic line design that's, like, presented in uh, anime? I'd have to say anime, because I don't, the, the Toy Story, I don't like toys looking like they're gonna come out. What is your opinion on people who um, only view anime for the uh, cliches and don't really know uh, things about the uh, storyline or uh, the whole appeal to other people and stuff like that? I mean, they can live their own lives. If they don't actually like anime and they're still watching it, they're just wasting their time. Wait. Wait. Wait, what the heck? These questions don't work. These are crappy questions. You're a terrible writer. I gotta make something up on the spot now. Do you think more Americans view anime for its cliches? Or do you think um, more people view anime as a sort of subgenre or art form uh, in general? Are we counting hentai? I feel like a lot of the times there are certain people who do watch it for, for the female sex appeal instead of like the plot or you know things along those lines. So then, do you think more people watch it for the plot? I feel like more people watch it for the plot. Is there any other questions you would have for uh, me, Grant, or the station here at TPS? Well then, uh, thank you for watching. This has been uh, Nathan and Ethan Burry reporting here for uh, TPS. Back to you, Nathan, in the studio.